So welcome to our first video update for the Race Capture and Podium Kickstarter project. So what we have right here is a Race Capture unit and a couple of tablets and phones and a Kindle Fire that we can do a little demo of the Race Capture system um, just to show you what it can do and how much we have so far. So let's take a look. All right, what we have here is one of the race capture units. Actually, this is one we used in a number of uh, race events and testing events. It is our functioning uh, demo unit. As you can see, it's pretty small. It fits in a, si in a palm of your hand, and it goes nicely on the dashboard. It's kind of like an oversized GPS module, if you can imagine that. Uh, we have an RGB LED, and this will indicate the telemetry status as well as the GPS lock. And then you have your connection here for CAN and OBD2. Right now we just have it hooked up to a power supply so we don't have any data, but later on we'll hook it up to a car and show you what it's like to see OBD2 engine data in real time. So the tablet that we have is our, uh, this is a Samsung 10-inch uh, tablet. It's a pretty high performance tablet and it has a really gorgeous OLED screen. Any of the tablets we recommend, um, we recommend a, a fast processor and a decent screen so that you can get some good contrast while in the car. The, the Kindle Fire is a good choice. Uh, this is the uh, $50 Kindle Fire and it's amazing value for, for, the, um, for the money. You can get this for $50 off of Amazon it has a surprisingly fast processor and a decent screen, and with this you get a $50 race car dashboard. The end. So yeah, highly recommend that. All right, I'll go ahead and launch the Race Capture app on the tablet. And note that the features that you see here, most of them are already available in the current Race Capture app that you can use for Race Capture Pro. Some of them, I'll point them out, are features that are coming up in beta and additional features will be make available through the fulfillment of the Kickstarter. So, on the home screen, we have a dashboard where you could see real-time data. So this is what you would typically do when you're actually putting down laps. You could see uh, real-time lap times and gauges. Uh, you have a configuration pane where you can go and configure settings for the race capture device. You have an analysis mode, and this is upcoming in a beta version. Real soon now, you'll be able to interactively look at data that you've collected in the past. And then you have a racetrack browser. Racetracks are sub submitted by our community, and we have hundred, hundreds in our database currently. So we'll go into the configuration mode now, and when this loads, you'll see a list of your favorite racetracks that are, that's configured in this unit. Here, we have the ability for you to go and select racetracks around the world. So for example, I'll select Miller Motorsports Park, select that, and then now that's in your list of tracks. And what that means is when it's in the list of tracks and programmed to the unit, then when you power up the system, when you get to that racetrack, it automatically configures the racetrack with the start-finish line, sector points, and everything. So what's especially interesting here is for the OBD2 channels, you can go in and just through a user interface, just select what OBD2 channels you want to monitor. So here I've selected RPM, engine temperature, now we have throttle position, and you could select what sample rate you want to query those channels at. So with this configuration, we have RPM at 10 hertz, engine temperature at 1 hertz, and throttle position at 25 hertz. So when you select that, you can go ahead and write that back to the unit. And now the race capture unit will query those channels over at OBD2, mix that in with the GPS data and the accelerometer data, and you're good to go. So, going back to the dashboard mode, 
we'll go ahead and launch that. This is one of our primary screens, which has a, a set of gauges that you can customize. Here I have pre-selected engine temperature, throttle position, the a yaw sensor so we can see some dynamic behavior. So if anybody ever wondered about wireless latency, this is the response time of the race capture unit. So you can see it's very fast. So we have yaw here, which is yaw is rotation, um, so like oversteer and understeer. Uh, roll is side to side, so for your suspension. And then we don't have it here, but we could turn this channel into pitch. So you select the channel, and now you have your brake dive and your acceleration squat. So that's what we have for the, GP, uh, the uh, accelerometer and uh, gyro. So the race capture unit has a six axis accelerometer and gyro and also has a uh, three axis magnetometer, so a compass. We'll expose one of the compass channels because I think most people are just concerned about you know orientation or direction on on flat ground. So we'll have six channels of dynamic motion plus one channel of, of compass. So great stuff. So on this dashboard screen, you'll have a tachometer, which we'll demo a little bit later, but this will show RPM. This gauge will show uh, your current lap count by default, or you could select a different channel if you really wanted to. So you could say engine temperature, or you could say, you know, yaw. So if that's what you really wanted in that channel. But normally we really designed it for, you know, lap count, which is further down on the list. So we have a lot of channels. Lap time, lap count. There we go. This view will show you your either your predicted lap time or your last lap time if you have predicted timing disabled. And this plus or minus delta view, this is probably the most useful gauge in the dashboard because this will show you a plus or minus from best lap that the system knows about. So during a lap, if you are ahead of the best lap that it knows about, it will show a minus with a green indicator and it'll show you how many seconds faster you're running ahead of the uh, predicted time or if you're falling behind, it'll show an orange like this. So this dashboard screen, I hit the next arrow, this dashboard screen shows a variation with just that just focuses on lap times because some people, all they care about is lap time. So on the left you have lap count, predictive lap time at the top, and again, we'll demo this a little bit later, and then you have your plus or minus delta, which is just, you just cannot miss. We also have best time and then the last sector time at the bottom. Something I haven't noticed, uh, <laughs> mentioned, I should say, the channels at the bottom, these always remain regardless of what page you're on. And you can select a different channel to show. So here I've selected the yaw channel because it's easy to show. But you could do something like show, you know, engine temperature, oil pressure, etc. So there you go. Or remove it. Okay, so this screen is a screen that nobody's ever seen before, but it is kind of an experimental view that we're exploring. The idea behind this is a dynamic view showing a graphic of a car, and the idea is so the, the thought was, we have a traction circle, and that's a common uh, visual metaphor for an accelerometer, G-force uh, traction circle. But what we have in Race Capture and also in Race Capture Pro is a 3D inertial unit. So we can show yaw, pitch, and roll as well as G-force. So this is something we, just were, t we were just testing, and this will show dynamic motion of the vehicle. And our goal is to connect this up through telemetry as well as have it as a dashboard view. So you can see, kind of get a, get a 
like a real tangible idea of what the car is doing in real time. So while the cars, while you're actually, while you actually have a dashboard in a car, or later when we have this connected up through real time telemetry, you'll be able to see what the car out on the track is doing in real time. And it's not just the dynamic yaw, pitch and roll and g-force and we'll add more features below that shows you know, ex the accelerometer readings and so on. But our goal is to also, through callouts, show additional information about what the car is doing, maybe show uh, like a red heat signature if the engine is getting hot, kind of like a, a very futuristic view of what the car is doing in real time. And as you can see, this is a, a formula car we have other 3D models that we can use, like um, a coupe or sports car or something else. So, and we, since our system is open source, we hope that we would get some 3D model contributions, uh, maybe a, a go kart, or who knows. So, we think this is pretty cool. We're pretty excited about it, and um, there's going to be a lot more information around this view. So, we feel it's time to add some excitement and some some features that are actually will grab people's attention and capture their imaginations. So, next view. This view is the raw, what we call the raw channels view, and it's just a dump of all the channels that the system is outputting. And Race Capture Pro users will, will find this familiar. You have every channel that's being reported, and as additional channels are added, you'll see them listed here. So this is a great just diagnostic monitoring tool for what the system is doing. And then back to the main screen. So going back to analysis, and then this is this analysis demo will be the first video demo with voiceover that we've had yet. So, so far all we've had are some simple demos, uh, a few couple of second screenshots, but here I'll actually walk through what our analysis, what the analysis features will be like in the app. So, a big goal for Autosport Labs and Race Capture and the Podium platform is to make the analysis fun, interesting, something you can learn without requiring a day-long seminar just make it fun and interesting and interactive. So here we have our team member uh, Ryan's data from Sonoma and I've selected a lap and you could see the, his line taken around the lap and I can browse interactively, uh, look at the lap data by just dragging using a, a multi-touch gesture so here's the, the, the driven line around the track. And then I can go in and select a, a few channels. So I've selected throttle position, RPM. Yeah, that'll be good to start. So throttle position and RPM. And then now on the chart below, we have throttle position, which is this purple square line. And then RPM is, is where the RPM is based on where he is at on the track. So here you can see as he comes out of the carousel, you could see where his shift point is right there. And then, then his, then he goes into the braking zone. And if I wanted to zoom in on that, all I have to do is just use a two finger gesture. Oh, went a little too far. And then you can really zoom in on the data. Now, if we wanted to, select a second lap and compare that with the first. We can select another lap and then overlay the data and compare what one lap looks compared to the other, which is a pretty common thing in race car analysis. Now, Looks like we have a little bit of work to do with the colors, but that's okay. It's not released yet. So here we have two laps, and 
you could see the line taken between one lap and the other and see the slight variations. Unfortunately for this demo, Ryan is very consistent lap to lap, so that is not helping us out. But let's find another lap where he isn't as consistent. Now well, that's the lap where he went off track at the end of his session. We'll go over here, select another lap. Okay, here's a little bit. Here's another one. Oh yeah. So I forget what turn number this is, but yeah, there we go. So a little bit of line, a line difference here. So the bigger story with this analysis view is that here we've imported data from one session from existing data. What you will be able to do is connect a stream of data from a file you'll be able to connect up through the Podium platform, so you'll be able to connect laps up through the cloud, and you'll also be able to stream data in wirelessly through Race Capture Unit. So the thing to imagine is think about laps that you might already have in your tablet here or your phone, and then watching live data, live telemetry data coming in in real time and then comparing that against existing laps. And that's it. That is the tour of the Race Capture app. Thank you for checking it out, back our project, and share our project with your friends. Thank you.